Hey friend, I'm really glad you've come to pray today. Um, maybe this topic caught your eye um, because it's something that we're all very guilty of. That, um, God, I screwed up. You know, it's first of all, I would just encourage you not to um, go into self condemnation or, or beating yourself up inappropriately or whatever. It goes beyond what you need to be feeling for whatever that you did. We, we've all been in that same boat. We'll all continue to be in that same go, boat because by the grace of God, he forgives us. I mean, I certainly encourage you to um, really press in a relationship with the Lord so that we can all grow and mature past some of these things. But there's always going to be times that we screw up and we have a gracious Lord who, who wants to hear from us and uh, he will forgive us as we pray. So, I give you those encouragements. I don't know what you're coming here that has happened, but uh, I have a feeling you want to um, just work through it and and you know get right with God. I don't always agree with that type of statement, but it's it's right and it means that as we ask forgiveness, He is faithful and just to forgive us. And we have to remember that Romans 3:23 for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So don't count yourself as one who was a, a big outlier in this. We've all had these times. So I thought providing a prayer as an opportunity like this might be something that you would find helpful. So I hope it is. So um, the Bible is clear that we're to confess our sins. So I would encourage you that as we, we start, I know I'll, I'll start a prayer and then I'll, I'll give a time that, that you can um, just tell the Lord honestly what happened, what you have done, what your attitudes were and that sort of thing about it. And just be clear you know, it, it helps us, too, that we can really kind of understand what it was that, that happened and, and hopefully that it can be used to help us to steer away from that in the future. Um, if you need more time, you can just pause the video. But I, I would just encourage you to be very honest to the Lord of of what happened with this. He already knows, but the act of confession is is powerful and, and helps us to take the responsibility in it and just really lay it before him and ask for his kind forgiveness. So um, uh, let so I want to pray. pray in such a way that I can offer you some words if this feels uncomfortable, um, that you don't even really know how to approach the Lord in prayer in a situation like this. So you know, you know, either feel free to agree with what I'm saying or listen and maybe just pray after that. And remember, I will give a pause as to um, when would be a time where you can just specifically confess what's happened to the Lord and, and perhaps some of the consequences that you've seen that have happened with other people or anything like that. Um, and again, if you need more time, please feel free to pause the video and pick it up after that. Lord, you know how frail we are. You know that we uh, live in a fallen world and that we all are very prone to screw up. You know more intimately than we do how we're made, what happens in our mind, what happens with our decisions. And you know that there are choices that we make that can also have impacts on other people um, just with ways that we screw up. So I'm praying with my friend today, um, and I would just... Uh, encourage them at this point to just take some time and just really just say what happened and confess that and if they see any consequences or anything like that. And um, I'll, I'll leave a, a brief space here, but uh, please pause if you want some more time. So, Lord, we're coming asking for your kind and amazing forgiveness today. We know you are the maker of all things. You're the creator of the universe. You're the king of kings and lord of lords. But yet you're also a kind and loving father who knows us. And you've already spilled your blood, Jesus, so that we can be forgiven and, and come to you in relationship. And so... This circumstance is also one where we come to you asking for forgiveness, Lord, that you you would um, just take away the weight and and the the sting of what's happened, Lord, that you would help us to see if there's a corrective path moving forward, if there has to be forgiveness asked of other people that might be involved in this or anything like that, in that. But we call on your forgiveness, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus in a circumstance that that needs it, Lord. We I ask that my friend would just be able to um, 
walk through this with your grace so that you would be able to show them things that maybe they haven't seen in it or uh, just give them wisdom as to be able to know how to deal with this moving forward and to walk away from temptation if that's part of it too and just walk in the forgiveness that you offer so it's not something that we have to continually beat ourselves up about but instead we look at it with uh, maturing eyes to see what we can do to grow in your light even perhaps as a result of what's happened here lord you're kind to have that available for us forgiveness and so I pray that you would you would help us to um, see where we can turn away from whatever contributed to this this circumstance, we turn away from it and walk away, and not have those things uh, affect us in the future. If there's temptation, if there's things that have been sort of walked into that we know we shouldn't have walked into, I pray that you would give strength and maturity and understanding to be able to move away from that, Lord. Thank you for your kindness. By no means should we expect that you offer forgiveness to us, but you do, and we hold that because you promise it, Lord. So we're grateful for um, the forgiveness that you offer, and I pray that my friend will just be able to lay the things down that come as a result of this and just move forward in a new, new and redirected path only because of your kindness and your mercy. So, Lord, we consider um, the scripture that we see that David, who... Um, we know King David had a rough time in the Old Testament. We see so many things that he did that he fell short, but yet he still was what you call to be a man after God's own heart. And so when we screw up, we think of him and we can look at a specific scripture, a psalm that he wrote to ask your forgiveness when a time that he messed up to. So we're just going to read together Psalm 51 verses 1 through 6. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Transgressions are our ways that we sin. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, Lord, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the, sec- in the secret heart. And it goes on to several more verses. I would encourage you to, to read through that a few times, Psalm 51, and just see um, how it's a great example of someone pouring his heart out toward the Lord and asking for forgiveness and, and being contrite. That's contrite of being broken over something, um, not a broken heart necessarily, but being broken over the fact that that something happened and you're responsible for it and you you want to um, just know the Lord's forgiveness in it. So moving forward, I would just encourage you to, again, if there's relationships that you need to um, pursue forgiveness for with what happened to, it's a, a big part of being able to move through things. And that uh, you would just take heart that the Lord has heard this and he's forgiven and it doesn't have to be something that you keep carrying for days and days, uh, let, let it be a lesson to learn from in these things, but understand that the Lord's graciousness is very, very abundant in these circumstances, that as we grow in him, that um, his forgiveness helps us to be able to shake off the things that are going to be ongoing problems and just walk in greater maturity. So Lord, I pray that for my friend, Lord, that they would truly be able to um, not be just bound up by guilt with what's happened now that they've sought your forgiveness and seek the forgiveness of other people if that's necessary in it and uh, just accept that you you take these burdens for us because of your death on the cross all these things have been paid for already you have paid the penalty for our sins even in an ongoing way So thank you for these things, Lord, and I pray that this can be a lesson that help us to move forward in you in a deeper way. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.